Dallas City Council members discussed the city's policy for helping the homeless. Those talks started after a church group got a ticket for sheltering homeless people during freezing weather. Fox 4's Lori Brown is in the newsroom tonight with a story. Lori. Steve, right now it is illegal in Dallas to temporarily shelter homeless people within 1,000 feet of a church. And that's a problem for many churches who want to use their facilities to help keep people safe when it's freezing overnight. So when the temperature falls below freezing, we open our doors. It's morally, we feel it morally obligated. It's the right thing to do. Pastor Wayne Walker, director of Our Calling, soon found out that no good deed goes unpunished in Dallas. We got issued this code citation from the city. That came from someone filing a complaint because Our Calling is a church. And in Dallas, churches are restricted from sheltering homeless people, even on freezing nights. Legally, they can only support other private facilities that are properly licensed. Pastor Walker spoke to city council members Wednesday in hopes of changing that. Portland, Chicago, Washington, D.C., even our neighbors to the south, Houston, our own Frisco, McKinney, and Mesquite, those cities and many, many more throughout the country utilize churches in moments of inclement weather. Pastor Rachel Bachman of Oaklawn United Methodist Church also urged council members to reconsider the policy. I worry that many of the proposals that are before us um, really come from a not in my backyard mentality. Bachman said this past winter her church provided a warm place to sleep for the homeless, including mothers with infants and toddlers who had no place else to go. And when we open our doors of our church, we proclaim that infants won't die on the street tonight, not in my backyard. We have to find a way. Council members agreed the city needs to update its zoning policy to allow churches to legally provide emergency shelter to the homeless. If this was our own children, we would not be having this conversation, but damn those icky homeless people when they come into your neighborhood. So let's just call this thing what it is. In the end, the city decided to go back to the drawing board. We need to have some rules on this thing, but I am very confident that our great city attorney's office and our city manager will be able to figure this out. The city appears poised to revise its zoning ordinance to allow churches to apply for specific use permits. That would allow the city to have oversight of the sheltering activity as well as limit the number of churches providing shelter in a particular area. There is no date set for when the city council will reconsider the proposals.